convicted or not. We're on it. We'll let you know as soon as we get any indication from that courtroom that something is happening. In the meantime, there are some new developments in the controversial battle surrounding the NYPD's surveillance of Muslim mosques, businesses, and student groups across the river in the other state of New Jersey. So the attorney general in the Garden State has now ruled that the police's counterterrorism work was legal, even though it crossed state lines. However, the Council on American Islamic Relations, which is known as CARE, not surprisingly, they disagree with that finding. Here's their quote. We are disappointed with the outcome of the review. All consider, we will consider all legal options, including re renewed appeals for action by the Department of Justice. So for CARE, they're saying this isn't over. Let's check in with New York Republican Pete King. He's the chairman of the Homeland Security Committee. Uh, Congressman, good morning. Good to have you with us as always. What Morning, do you make Martha, of, good to be with you. So the, the big <laughs> issue was that uh, the counterterrorism folks from New York were crossing the river, going into New Jersey, undercover mm -hmm. surveillance in businesses, in mosques. New Jersey found out about it, and they were a bit surprised that this was going on without their knowledge. And now it's been ruled that, that they did nothing illegal, right? Absolutely. In fact, this is a tremendous vindication for the NYPD. It's a validation of all that they've been doing. And actually, Martha... Many people in Jersey did know what was happening. In fact, former Governor Cody told me that he had actually signed an agreement with the NYPD when they came into New Jersey originally. The uh, police chief in Newark knew about it, and so did other police around the state. And there's numerous meetings being held all the time between New York and New Jersey. Now, it's possible some people didn't know, but in any event, Some people like Governor Christie? Illegal. I mean, Governor Christie <clears throat> said he didn't know, right? I mean, that yeah. seems a little odd, doesn't it? Yeah, well, uh, now don't be starting a fight again with me and Governor Christie. We've had words in the past. Right now, we love each other and we're getting along. We want to keep it that way. But, you know, Governor Christie and uh, the NYPD are now in total sync. But again, Ray Kelly has said that all along, the uh, Jersey authorities knew he was there. In fact, when the police, the NYPD used to go into Newark, the uh, police chief in Newark actually had Newark police escort them around to take them to various locations they wanted to go to. The bottom line is, though, terrorism doesn't stop at state lines. No. It goes into New Jersey because it comes in from Jersey to New York. So this is really a vindication yeah. of the NYPD and a demonstration of the cooperation between New and, York and, and New Jersey. worth remembering, of course, that the 93 bomb plot was hatched right. uh, in Jersey City uh, and Newark Airport was one of the, you know, main sites of the 9-11 in terms of the hijackers and where they took off from. So it, very important to have that coordination between those huge metro areas. A couple of quick questions for you about this. So does this mean now that, that sort of... They have to do anything differently now. Do, does any inquiry that they do or any investigating, does it have to be justified by a lead? And do they have to make sure that everybody on both sides of the river knows what they're doing? Has anything changed in that relationship? Not really. I think it's probably going to be a little bit more uh, uh, notification and cooperation. That's really all, all been there. This is just going to refine that a bit. And as far as uh, following leads, I mean, this is good police work. And as far as these Muslim groups like CARE, which, by the way, was an unindicted co-conspirator in a major terrorist funding case, mm -hmm. uh, it's always been uh, that if, if, if crime was coming from a particular community, like when the Justice Department was going after the mafia, they went into the Italian-American community. When it was coming from the Westies, they went into the Irish-American community. This is just common sense and good police work. And uh, unfortunately, while 99% of Muslims are good Americans, the Islamic terrorist threat is coming from the Muslim community. And uh, unfortunately, there's not enough cooperation coming from the Muslim community. And the police are doing preemptive work. They're doing surveillance. This is what good yeah. police work is all about. And that's why they've been able to stop 14 plots against New York City. Yeah, thank goodness. And that's a big win uh, for the counterterrorism folks in New York, yeah. who I know you are a big fan of and feel that they've been doing a heck of a good job. Uh, I do want to ask you Absolutely. while I have you one, one more question about this Pakistani doctor situation, because I know it's something that you've been working on as well. Yeah. You suggested the other right. day that there was some kind of connection uh, between the White House and the sentencing of this Pakistani doctor to 33 right. years. What did you mean by that? Uh, several things. One, uh, after the uh, uh, killing of bin Laden, there was talk coming from the administration about how uh, DNA was important. Uh, the Pakistani authorities started looking for medical people. They uh, rounded up several health officials, including this doctor. At that time, we had uh, anonymous quotes coming from the administration confirming the fact that we had used a doctor to try to get DNA samples. And then after that, you had Leon Panetta going on national television confirming that this doctor was a CIA asset working for U.S. intelligence. You combine those, and that was just too much talk, 
too much indicators that were given to Pakistan as to what we had done and who did it. And that's why I'm saying the administration bears the responsibility for what happened to this doctor, especially in sentencing. All right. We're going to talk about that a little bit later coming up in the show in terms of what's happening on Capitol Hill to try to protect this great. doctor. Uh, Congressman King, always good to see you. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, okay? Martha, thank you. You too. Thanks a lot.